everyone, this is Maki. Today, a new gun pro was announced. It's a mobile suit that appears in Zeta Gundam. The high set custom will be released as a high grade gun pro. To be precise, this is not the version from the TV Annie, but the design that appears in the spin off advance of Zeta Reboot. It's a mobile suit operated by the Titans, an internal faction of the Earth's Federation forces. Speaking of Zaku, it's the mobile suit used by the Principality of Zeon as their main weapon, White. So what kind of mobile suit is this Isaac? And what are the elements that give it the name Custom? This time, while we are checking out those elements, let's also take a look at the highs at Customs Gunplay. Emergency alert! An Ayugo mobile suit has appeared near your home. It's a flashy golden enemy. But don't worry! The highs at Custom is activated by pressing the Submit button. Destroy the enemy with its powerful beam cannon. In the world depicted in the original Gundam, the Earth's Federation forces and the Principality of Zeon fought against each other. The war ended with the victory of the Earth's Federation forces. However, the Earth's Federation government, which had lost a considerable amount of resources, struggled to rebuild its military. In this situation, they adopted a policy of actively incorporating the technology of the Principality of Zeon into the design of new mobile suits. That's how the Hyzap was born. In the real world, there were also commercial reasons for this decision. The Zaku mobile suit had established itself as the enemy in the eyes of the public. So it was necessary to portray the Zaku as the enemy. The Principality of Zeon spent a lot of time developing the Zaku for their War of Independence. On the other hand, the Earth's Federation forces rushed to use mobile suits in combat by capturing and studying the mobile suits of the Zeon forces. As a result, Zeon was far ahead in mobile suit technology. The Earth's Federation forces developed a new mobile suit by combining the technology of the Principality of Zeon with their mass-produced mobile suit, the Gym. The finished Isaac was a powerful mobile suit. However, many soldiers were uncomfortable with its resemblance to the Doku used by the Zeon forces. The Principality of Zeon suffered far too many casualties in its war for independence. Especially in the early stages of the war, they committed massacres with poison gas. The Zaku became a symbol for the lives of about 5 billion people that were lost. However, West Marthy, who appears in advance of Zeta, accepted the Isaac. He believed that the most important thing for a pilot was to survive and that dying in battle out of hatred for a former enemy nation or patriotism was foolish. What kind of suit is the Heisek custom? To understand this, we must first look at the shortcomings of the Heisek. The Heisek is a mobile suit that exists in a technological transition phase and compared to leading mobile suits like the Zeta Gundam, it has many areas that are less refined. A key example of this is its power system. The Heist accuses a combination of two systems, the Earth's Federation Forces Field Motor System and the Xeon Fluid Pulse System. Because of this, the power cables are designed to be exposed on the outside of the armor. This design choice complicates the power supply, resulting in the limitation that the Heiser can only use one beam weapon at a time. Whether this is considered a flaw or not depends on the individual. 
Beam weapons are expensive and there are mobile suits that primarily use machine guns that fire metal bullets as their primary armament. Beam weapons are also extremely powerful and it's rare to have to use more than one at a time. While protagonists often use multiple beam weapons, simultaneously that's more of a situation reserved for ace pilots. In some stories, it's even considered that cross combat with beam sabers is something only ace pilots do, and that most fights are settled by shooting. In addition, beam weapons in the Universal Century generate extremely hot particles, and beam sabers are no different. Close combat with a saber can damage armor with these high temperature particles. Damaged armor must, of course, be replaced. This is one of the reasons there's a philosophy of avoiding unnecessary melee. The high Zack's weakness is that it can't use multiple beam weapons at once. However, there's also the perspective that being able to use just one beam weapon is more than enough. This is reflected in the fact that you almost never see a high Zack equipped with both a beam rifle and a beam saber at the same time. If you're interested, it might be fun to keep an eye on this detail while watching the TV Annie or reading the comics. The high Zack custom is a mobile suit that has overcome such shortcomings. Its main generator was replaced with one from Anaheim Electronics. There is a common misconception that the highs that couldn't use high-powered beam weapons due to insufficient generator power, but the highs that custom can no use large beam cannons due to improved generator power. In reality, the generator power hasn't changed drastically. The high Zack's output is 1428 kilowatts, while the high Zack customs is 1480 kilowatts. So the power itself hasn't increased much. The reason the high Zack custom can now use high powered beam cannons is that the generator has been replaced with the more efficient one. Of course, it's not just the generator. By improving the power system, the cables that were previously exposed on the outside of the armor are now integrated inside. While this may seem like a small detail, it's an important improvement when you consider battles in space with large rocks and debris are floating around. In addition, the streamlining panels that were attached to the engines on the back and legs have been removed. Even without these panels, it displayed high mobility during its battle with Quattro's here Kushi. Simplifying the shape also reduces the chance of damage from floating debris. Also, some parts of the armor now use Gandarium alloy. Instead of the common titanium alloy ceramic composite found in many mobile suits, the use of Gundarium alloy increases their defensive capabilities. Compared to the original Hyzak, this is quite an upgrade. Not only is it equipped with a beam launcher as its main weapon, but it also comes with a beam saber. Unfortunately, the new Gunpra does not include the beam saber. If you want to display it with both a beam launcher and a beam saber, you have to borrow a beam saber from another Gunpra. By the way, the Heiz Custom also has a small connection to the time of Bui Ganam, which takes place in Universal Century 153. The mobile suit Sandhoja operated by the Zanskare Empire seems to be equipped with the beam launcher of the Heiza Custom. The fact that this beam launcher is still in use in the world almost 70 years in the future shows how excellent its design must have been. Personally, I really like how the shoulder shield has been extended. It's such a cool detail. 
It's a fascinating model suit to look at, especially when you focus on how it differs from the Hi-Zack. The high-grade Hi-Zack Custom will be released as a premium Bandai exclusive. The price will be around $21. Please note that the price may vary depending on the exchange rate. Pre-orders will begin in Japan on September 10th and shipping is scheduled for December 2024. Please note that the schedule may vary depending on the country or region. Thank you for watching to the end. See you next time.